Hi there, welcome to the Upcycle Design Lab. Today I'm going to share with you all the products that I made for my most recent craft show and talk about what sold and what didn't. If you're new here, my name's Cindy and I craft with recycled and repurposed materials. I do want to let you know that I have tutorials on almost everything that I'm going to show you today and if you're interested you can find those in um, if you visit my channel. So I had kind of four different sections and in the first section was very small but I had a couple of little gardening kind of items and this is the first one. I had these sets of garden markers for different uh, herbs and they're all the same. They just all have chives chives, basil, thyme, and mint. And they're embossed, just hand embossed, uh, using aluminum, beer, and soda drink cans. And then I packaged them kind of in recycled material as well. Um, this was a Christmas show, so that may have something to do with it, but I didn't sell any of these. I was selling them for $16, and I only have the three. And I don't think I will make them again because they're kind of time consuming and these garden staples are a little bit expensive. Um, so I may try to sell them at a spring show or something, but I probably will not bother making these again. Another little item that I had, and I was only trying to sell these for $5, but um, I didn't sell any of these either. And they're just little plastic pots that you could start plants in. There were all different kind of designs and they're made from grocery bags and you know single-use plastic bags and you can just do a sort of a variety of styles um, but again maybe the season was wrong and then these aren't you know super high-end looking or anything so maybe they just aren't something that's going to sell that well but I may take them to a spring show and again, I probably won't make these again, but I do have seven of them to sell in the sets of two if I want to try it again. So that's that project. And then the last item that I had in the little garden area were these wall hangers for propagating plants or using as a small vase and they're just made out of an old piece of fence post and then I used some tin can vegetable cans to make the base and the, the little strap here to hold the bottle in and then this is just a Tabasco bottle and I had 14 of these at the show and I sold 10 of them so they did pretty well which was uh, nice, especially since they're not Christmas items at all. And I did have sort of a different pricing tier for these. I sold them for $15 and then two for $25 and three for $30. And I did have one person buy three and one person buy two. So um, people did take advantage of all of those different price options. And I think it was a Good way to kind of help move this item especially since it was sort of out of season and that's it for my little garden area the next section was my jewelry and i have several different uh things that i make jewelry out of i made these watch part bracelets and I was trying to sell them for $30. They take quite a bit of time to make, but I think maybe they were a little too confusing. They're set up so that people can put their own photos in. The backs are already popped off, and then you can just cut um, out photos and put them in and, and customize your own bracelet. And um, like I said, I didn't sell any of these. I had 11 of them, and I... I'm not sure what they they just don't have an, much of an appeal, but I still have seven and I may try to continue to sell them because um, they're already put together. But I think some of them are a little bit too chunky and big. And then even the smaller ones didn't grab anybody's attention. I saw a couple people pick them up, but um, 
certainly not a strong seller, but since I have them, I will probably try to I'll continue to take them and put them in my jewelry section. I also made some necklaces out of the watch parts. And here again, this is made so that you can put your own photo in it, kind of customize it with your own photo. And then I made some other ones that I just sort of made little dioramas in, which were fun. They were all, all of them were different. I didn't have a lot of them. I only had six. And um, I sold these for $25 and I did sell one of them. And uh, so I may try to make a few more of these just to have a few more. They're sort of fun and I enjoy making them just because you can be sort of create creative and do lots of different things with them. If you have little tiny things to put in there, I think I used some puffed rice on this one and uh, another piece of a watch part and a little rhinestone thing. So, um, so they're fun to play around with. So I may make a few more of these at some point. The next thing was these memory wire bracelets. I didn't make too many of these. I only made five because they were very time consuming. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know I like making the beads out of the aluminum beer and soda drink cans. And so all of these beads are constructed from the metal and then they have alcohol ink on them to color them. And I, so they were pretty time consuming to make. So I did priced them at $35 and I did sell one of them. So uh, again, I probably won't make this exact style again, just because it takes so many beads and the beads are kind of time consuming to make, but I will maybe make some different styles and take these definitely and keep them in my jewelry section. I also had these single strand versions for bracelets and uh, I had quite a few of these but I also sold quite a few. I priced them at $7 and I had 30 to start with and I sold 13 so they sold pretty well. I think they were bright and colorful and caught people's attention. I'm not sure, I don't think I'll make these again either. I still have quite a few and um, so I think I might play around with some different styles of bracelets and just keep these for my jewelry section. These aren't exactly jewelry, but I did have them in my jewelry section just because I have made a lot of different, uh, bead styles from the aluminum cans. I thought it would be fun to make a few beaded pen options and these sold pretty well. I had 20 of them and I sold them for $6 and I sold eight of them. This next item, I've had at other craft shows and they're just little bottle cap charms that are made from two bottle caps and uh, a pull tab from a soda can. And I don't even know how many of these I had. I, the basket was maybe twice as full. So I probably sold half of them and I just priced them at 50 cents because, um, I didn't really think they were worth a whole lot more than that. I had some people come in and buy $3 worth and sort of pick through them and take handfuls. So uh, they were kind of good at getting people's attention. And I think people, you know, knew immediately what they were and were sort of, you know, definitely they were at a good price point. So, they were good to get people's attention and kind of draw them into that area of the booth. So I probably will make a few more of these, especially if I can find some different bottle caps. I like to kind of collect them and find different ones that are fun. This is one of my favorites with the grapefruit on it. So that's just sort of a fun and quick thing. Another item that I had in my jewelry area were these fused glass pendants and they're made from Kind of hard to see them with a light shining through them. That's better, maybe. Um, they're made from recycled bottle glass, and I just had fun kind of experimenting with some different things uh, using my microwave kiln to make some different shapes and different techniques. This one's just a ring that I wire wrapped. This is another ring that has a sort of a different type of wire wrap on it. 
and I was I sold these for twenty dollars and I only sold one of them where are they I had I had about 15 and like I said they're all different and so I'll probably just keep them in my jewelry area the next thing were the earrings they're made with a similar technique from different I think this was a wine bottle that I used a green wine bottle and you can mix the colors a little bit here too I put some blue in the yellow and I sold I think I just sold one of these also I know I sold two and I, I had 13 to start with so who knows I may get my kiln out again and sort of play around with some more glass to make some more earrings I also have some earrings that are made from the rest of the watch parts that I had left over from my other projects and these are just fun to make you can kind of pair them up with their mismatched sets and I also sold these for $20 and these have sold well at other shows that I've gone to I had 25 when I started and I sold uh, 11 I just think they're fun to kind of pair up and match up and they can be sort of more subdued or bright and like this one silly little animal prints so those like I said those have always done really well one thing I did with my $20 jewelry items and also my $15 jewelry items was I sold them uh, buy three get one free also which I think that kind of helped boost my sales a little bit as well so I have quite a few other earring styles that I made I have a few that I made out of a recipe book so there were lots of bright colors in the magazine page so these are some paper bead earrings that I made and I only had seven and I, I did sell one pair of these and like I said these were I, I sold these for $15 and they were part of that whole mix and match if you buy three you get one free I also made a ton of styles of earrings from aluminum cans so I have a bunch of these in different colors that are made from the rolled beads and I don't think I sold any of that style so I may break those down and make them into something else uh, you can also make hoop earrings from the aluminum cans and I did sell one pair of those uh, these are just some other another beaded style you can wrap the this is the top rim of the aluminum can so you can wrap them with cording too to give them different colors when you're making the aluminum can beads you can roll them with the aluminum side out and then add alcohol ink or you can just leave them with the silver coloring like I did on this pair um, but you can also roll them with the printout so these have the coca-cola imagery on the outside and I thought they were kind of cute so I made a couple different pairs like this uh, I don't think I sold any of them but I thought they were fun and then I just I have a couple of different bead styles most of the beads that I make out of the aluminum cans are rolled with my bead roller but you can also make these little sort of puffy pillow beads if you have a dapping and doming tool so I made a few different styles like that and I just think they're fun I, I mean I'll definitely keep these in my sh shop for future the only one I kind of feel like I don't want to repeat and maybe I'll even break them down and make them different make different styles is the this style just because I have so many of those uh, anyway the aluminum cans you can just make so many different fun styles there was also an embossed I didn't get any of those out and I don't think I sold any of those either but you can emboss the flat sheets of aluminum to make earring styles as well and I had 68 pairs of aluminum can earrings and I think I only sold 
four. So they weren't a great seller, even with the buy three, get one free offer. Um, I'm not sure why. I mean, maybe they're just a little weird. I did think that these little Coca-Cola guys would sell maybe better than they did. There might have just been too many choices. I'm not really sure why those didn't sell. The last item in the jewelry area were these earrings that I made from vegetable and, and soup cans, so tin can. They're a little heavier than the aluminum and they're a little harder to work with, but you can cut some fun shapes and you can shape the tin can differently. This pair is just the raw metal. And then this is the similar shape, but I added a little bit of antique -y kind of paint color to it. These are kind of a teardrop that I made using some needle nose pliers. So they're just fun. You can do kind of, you can just do a ton of different shapes with them. You can also do stamping on them. So if you want to add words or phrases, this is a pair that I d shaped using my dapping and doming tool. This is just another set of double kind of diamond shaped earrings. So you can make them in all different sizes. This is a smaller version of the little dangle shape. And this is kind of a leaf shape that I made using a flathead screwdriver and my hammer. I've taken these to a previous show and they sold really well. I sold them for $15 at this show and the previous show. And um, I had 37 and I sold 16. So I might make more of these at some point. The next section was my Christmas section, and I had these wreaths that I made out of an old box spring and some more tin can. And on this one, I just painted it and added some glitter hot glue to add some decoration to it. And I had four wreaths, and I was selling them for $35, and I sold two of them. I also have the kits set up so people could make their own wreaths and there are three different styles. There's the bell style and there's also a star style and then there was a holly and berry kind of style that I, I don't have to show you. But um, if you bought the kit, you have what you need to make a version like this. And then if you wanted to add paints and some texture or hot glue, um, you'd have to have that extra. But in the kits, there's everything that you need, the cut parts and the springs and everything you need to hook the wreath together just to make a little sort of unfinished rustic type of wreath. And I was selling these for $25. I had 14 and I sold one. But um, I just, they probably don't have a lot of appeal if you're just looking at them in the bag. So I think that was part of the problem. But I also think that definitely at the show that I was at, people didn't really want to do the DIY. They wanted to just buy some things for Christmas, either presents or decorations. So um, I think I probably probably would be better off just to make the wreaths and take a few more wreaths next time that are already ready to go. Another item that I made out of the bed springs was this little snowman out of, uh, they're sort of bobbleheads. And uh, I had only five of them, but I didn't sell any of them. And I was only trying to sell them for $12. So 
I think maybe the main problem with them is that when they're sitting like this, they weren't up high enough so that people could actually kind of see their faces, even though they look a little grumpy. Um, so I don't know if that was the problem, but they do need to be kind of at eye level for you to see their face. Otherwise, they just sort of look like... They don't look like much so um, I probably wouldn't make any more of these but I will take them and try to display them better in the next show and hopefully sell a few for Christmas next year another thing that I didn't sell were these little Christmas trees I have sold them before but that I didn't sell any at this show I only had five and they're just made with the tops of the tin cans and uh, some gum wrappers for the little Christmas balls. I think if I made them again, I would try to have more lids, kind of tighten them up and make them a little less. Um, I don't know. They look kind of flimsy and they're not the they're not the greatest project. But like I said, I have sold uh, one before and probably just keep them in the Christmas section because they add a little pop of color. And I did have a so a few people that were interested in them, but I didn't actually sell any, and I was selling these for $14. One more item that I made out of the tin cans were these ornament sets, and I had two different versions. I had these that were sort of bell and bobble kind of sets, and I had another set that were, uh, I think there was a snowman, a stocking, and a star. And I don't have any more of those. I did sell all of them, but they were similar in size. I sold them in sets of three, and they have a lot of glitter and sparkle to them. And I had five sets that were like this with these uh, three options and I only sold two and then like I said I had the snowman version with the star and the uh, Christmas stocking and I had six sets of those and I sold all six of them and I was selling them for fourteen dollars so um, I'll try to find a picture maybe to throw in when I do the editing just so you can see the other set, but like I said, I don't have any left. I also made some ornament sets out of the aluminum cans. So these are just the bottoms of the aluminum cans, and then they're spray painted with a little pony bead to make them look a little bit more like Christmas tree decorations, and I sold them in sets of six for ten dollars and I, I only sold one gold set and one red set but I only had uh, six of each of them I think so I didn't have a ton of these but they added a little bit of color and a lot of people were curious about them kind of wanted to know what they were made out of and then I also made these sets out of the top of the aluminum can so there's the ring from the aluminum can and then they just have Mod Podge and alcohol ink baked in the middle which I thought were kind of pretty but um, I only had I think three of each color of these and again I was just selling them for ten dollars but I didn't sell any of these but I think they're kind of good To match up with each other so I tried to make them so they would sort of coordinate if somebody wanted to buy sets that matched so I'll have those for next time around as well and my last Christmas item were these little dragonfly Christmas ornaments that are made out of magazine paper rolled into bead shapes and then the aluminum can for the wings and I've sold these before at different craft shows as well and they've always sold pretty well 
but I have a newer version that I like better and so I probably won't make this style again but it's one of my most popular videos if you're interested in the tutorial you can probably find that and I previously had sold these for $20 but because I had a newer version this year I marked them down to 15 and I had 18 and I only have these two left so I'm not sure what I will do with them because like I said I don't really plan on making them again but you never know never say never right uh, so these were definitely a really good seller so that brings us to my last little area and I'm not even sure what to call it but if you've seen some of my other videos you might know that I I've called some of them plant charms and some of them Christmas decorations but they're all my little insects that I made out of aluminum cans and this was a small section but like I said it was quite uh, it definitely grabbed people's attention it was at the front of the booth and it definitely <laughs> kind of got the most buzz so this is my new version of the dragonfly um, these are the aluminum can beads and then obviously the wings are made from the aluminum cans as well and it's just a little sturdier and I, I just think it looks a little higher quality so this is probably the version that I'm going to be making going forward and I sold these for $25 and I only had six of them but I only have this one left so I sold five out of the six for the $25 and unfortunately I don't have all of my little creatures to, to show you because I did sell out on some of them. Um, I also made this butterfly and this is the only one that doesn't have a tutorial yet so hopefully that'll be coming soon but again the beads are made from the aluminum cans and then the rings are from the top of the aluminum can and the baked Mod Podge and alcohol ink in them again so I will try to find uh, and these I sold for $30 and I only had five of them and I sold three but uh, they were all different colors and so this was a very bright kind of fun area in my booth and then I had some little ladybugs that were made out of bottle caps and the aluminum can beads and these I sold for $15 and I had I think seven of them yeah seven and I sold five and then this one was my I think I don't know this one's my favorite I think um, these little grasshoppers these I also sold for twenty dollars and I had six of them and I sold three and then the three things I don't have to show you I'll try to throw some pictures in here when I do the editing I had a bumblebee that I sold for $15 and I think I sold I had seven and I sold all seven of them and I had some caterpillars I only made three of the caterpillars because I didn't think they would sell that well but uh, I sold them for $20 and I sold all three of them pretty quickly and then I also had some little ants that I sold for eight dollars and I had ten of them and I sold all of them and I actually had somebody come back and they wanted to buy more and they were all gone so I will definitely make all of these things again and the only thing I wasn't really happy with the display that I had for them so I do need to kind of maybe come up with a better display for them but I will definitely take these to another show because they did very very well if you enjoyed today's video please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you haven't already, I'd love it if you click that subscribe button to join my YouTube family. If you're interested in getting the Upcycle Design Lab newsletter, check the description box for a place to sign up. Let me know which project was your favorite in the comments. And if there's a tutorial that you're looking for and you can't find it on my channel, drop me a comment and I'll send you the direct link. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you back here soon in the lab for my next experiment.